Hey everyone, welcome to our team meeting. Today, I am so excited to have Christine speak to us. Um, she's gonna be talking about how to hold text parties, which this totally happened by accident for her. Um, and you guys, Christine is a brand new stylist. So uh, when she shared this with me yesterday, I was like, girl, you gotta tell the whole team, like we need to share this with everyone because um, it worked really well. And I think it's a great way to, um, you know, if you have people who aren't on Facebook, um, they, you could do something, but something like this because everybody checks their texts, right? So I'm going to turn the time over to you, Christine. I've unmuted you. Take it away, girl. Hi, guys. Um, so, yeah, so my name is Christine Burkholder, and I started um, – in the beginning of October and I'm really, really enjoying it. So like Kelly guys, said, I have to brag a little bit. She's already hit her jump start. Like she's sold. How much have you sold already? Almost like 5,000. Almost 5,000. So just yeah. that's all. And then she's our <laughs> senior stylist. So she's killing it. So she's one to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so I had a in-person par party scheduled with one of my friends, Kim, and you know she sent out an evite, and um, you know how you could tell if they've even viewed the evite, and a lot of times, you know, and whether it's with kids parties or or, or this, I noticed that there people weren't viewing them, so I'm like, I don't know what the deal is, and so. But then I thought about it and I thought, you know what, like a lot of times if I get an email from Evite, I scroll past it because I think it's an app. And okay. then if I do have the app, but it's like bundled in one of those little, like on the iPhone where you can put it in a, like a category. So I, unless I'm looking for it, I don't see it sometimes. So I thought, okay, so let's do this. I said, um, I asked my hostess, I said, are you comfortable with creating a group chat just so we can make sure who is coming. Cause I think she was stressing out. She didn't know who was coming. And I said, and we'll kind of just keep tabs on everything through that. So she did. And so about four or five days before the party, <clears throat> um, she sent that group text out and it was, you know, like Kim's color street party. And, um, so in there I introduced myself. You can tie on group texts, right? Yeah. Group text. Yeah. And, um, I introduced myself. I put a graphic up explaining what color street was because there's still a lot of people that don't even know what color street is. So, you know, the one that says like hundred percent nail polish, blah, all that stuff I put up. And I also offered to send accent nails to anybody. Um, and that way that gave me enough time to get them on them and, and, um, before the party. And um, I also posted a graphic with uh, the prices and the specials that we have. Um, I also added in there an application video, which I think really piqued a lot of people's interest that have never seen like how easy Color Street is to apply. And I posted the link to the party. So, and this is when people started asking questions. I think when they see like in the application video, how easy it is, um then they start asking questions and so they were like how long do they last um can you use them over acrylics how do how do you take them off all that stuff like can you use them on your toes you know can kids wear them and so it was nice because um you know how if you were able to make kelly's uh bonus qualified training um, one of, you know, one of the things is interacting, letting people get to know you and trust you. And so I feel like in this forum, they were really able to do that because, um, they were all asking questions. They were like, you know, uh, it, uh, out of stocks, if they were out and if I had them, I could tell them that. And it was fun because like people that had color street on, like started posting nail fees. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like showing off their nails and people got to see the product on an actual person. So one of the best parts was that people who haven't tried Color Street were getting all this information and everybody was seeing it where in Facebook, I, I know that's a struggle, you know, that with the algorithms and everything and just adding people to groups, everybody was seeing all the information that was out there. 
So, um, how, then, many, how many people were in that, that message group? That text only group? like 23. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Yeah. And so, um, so, you know, and there was a bunch that couldn't make, you know, with the holidays coming up, people traveling early and stuff like that. But, um, so when, you know, so, uh, the people that weren't, that have never tried color street, they were getting all this information and, um, how the people were saying how much they love the product, how easy it is to put on, what their favorite colors are, how much money they save. And so I was getting product reinforcement that I wouldn't have been able to have been, been able to get like in a form like Evite, you know, because it was just, I think texting is a lot more personal and people, you know, are more apt to communicate and text and the people know each other. So they're ever, everybody, it's like with your kids, you know, if you tell them something, they don't, they don't believe you. And then somebody else says it and they're like, Oh yeah. You know, and they believe what other people say. So it was nice because, uh, a lot of people were saying how much they love color street and it wasn't coming from me. So I think that helped a lot. Um, Hey, question for you. Mm -hmm. Was it a couple of people have questions? Was it, it, someone said, was this in Facebook messenger? No, it was a regular group text on my, on the phone. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because I feel like two Facebook messenger, you're only on there when, you decide to go look or, you know what I mean? Like, I yeah, feel like you're yeah. always looking at your texts. Totally. And, um, yeah. then Terry asks, she says, I thought, she says, I, I thought only 10 people can go in right group chat. She had, does she have an iPhone? I don't know. I do. I can put more than 10 people in a group what chat. What kind of phone did, did your hostess use? She has an iPhone also. Okay. So I don't know if that, but yeah, there was like 23 in there. So, um, but I have heard that before about the limit of people you can put in group. And I don't know if that's like on the other phones, but on my phone, I don't have a problem with that. I don't know. Or like if it's an update that, uh, you could do that now, you know what I mean? Yeah. And there is an app, um, Christina mentioned this in this, I was thinking of this as well. There's an app, you can do something similar on an app called Group Me, mm -hmm. um, where it's basically a text group. But I like text better because you always get your group text. I mean, you always, you always get your group text. It's almost always. Yeah. Because I even have, like, with the Group Me, I have that for my daughter's tennis, and it's tucked away in a little, um, like, uh, I don't know what they're called, you know, like a little uh, category box. So unless I click on that and they click on group me, yeah, I don't really see it. So, yeah. so the texting worked well, worked really well. And because it was originally, you know, it, it, it was an in-home party. She knew everybody well enough that she could put them in the group text. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and, but, so it was good because you know, there was all this feedback, all this interaction about Color Street, and it, because it wasn't coming from me, it wasn't salesy, you know, and um, people just, it per perked their interest, and, um, you know, it was getting people excited to actually go to the party, and um, so this, so I found that putting all that information out before the party was really good, because if this was a drop-in style type party so when people are coming in and out at different times you're playing samples at different times it was nice because i didn't have to answer the same question like 10 times and because they were already taken care of before the party even started and i felt that that was important because it freed my time up to be able to get to know the people and they get to know me you know like how you were talking um in your vq training was they need to get to know you, they need to get to like you, and they need to get to trust you. And we need to do that like in our Facebook groups and everything. And this was, I felt like you could do this like 10 times faster because it was in, on a group text like that. Um, so did anyone order before the actual in-home party? Yeah, I had like five. That's so cool. what I did was, um, uh, so the day of the party, 
I sent a text like earlier, like late morning. And I was like, ladies, can't wait to see you tonight. There will be a door prize and a raffle. And um, all, I, all the ladies who can't make it, I don't worry. I want you. To, I don't want you to miss out on all the fun. So each buy three get one order made on Kim's party link will be entered into a raffle for a gift bag. And then I added a picture of the gift bag and the door prize. And I said, and also everyone who joins my Facebook VIP group will be entered into a drawing for a free set of nails. And then I added the party link again. So, you know, that way they're not missing out. And so as soon as I got an online order, I sent a, you know, first order graphic and it said, congrats, so-and-so, you just won four sets of accent nails. And um, then I would say something about the color they bought, like say, Hera Jewel is one of my favorites, you know, and then the people must have been going to look it up because <laughs> then they were like, oh yeah, that is pretty, you know, are you gonna have that at the party? And um they were just curious like Ooh, what did she buy you know like i'm gonna go see what that sahara jewel is you know and then they were exposed to everything on the website you know and they were able to see the christmas one or the holiday ones and and all that and um before you know it everybody's checking out the colors someone asked if i would have champagne wishes at the party and somebody else was like oh i want that one too you know and they were just looking on the site and you know seeing what was available which i think is good so um then i posted a picture of the hostess gift i was giving away and i was like and, and three sets of nails so i said ladies i need your help i can't decide which nail should i add to kim's hostess gift so what that did i feel like planted the seed of what you can get if you host a party without being salesy or pushy. Yeah, I love that. You know, it was attracting them to the idea of hosting, which is like, you know, that attraction marketing that Kelly's always talking about. <laughs> yeah, and it's interactive too. It's like, hey, yes. what should I give the hostess? I want to spoil her. Yeah, and it was, I was being vulnerable too because I was asking them for help, you know, and they were, and again, that just reinforces the getting to know me, getting to like me, hopefully and getting to trust me so um so then again they were they were all posting and seeing which one to put in and then i would say something like oh yeah new york minute is so popular i love that color so now they knew the name of the color and that it was like a hot seller so then you know like people are like oh you know like maybe i want to get that one too yeah. you know um so as I kept getting online orders, I kept texting and saying, thank you for your order. Congrats, you won. And it was like accent nails. It was like an extra entry into the buy three, get one raffle or the VIP raffle for the free set of nails, which didn't cost you extra stuff. Cause I know like you already like buying stuff to put in the hostess gift. And, and one was like a Starbucks gift card, you know, and then, you know, so whatever really you want to put in it, you know, and um, so I had five by three get one orders before the party started. And those were from people that said they couldn't make it to the in-person party. So then I got two people who originally weren't going to make it, who ended up coming anyway. And I think because like they felt, oh, look at there, we're having so much fun. The party's going to be fun. Yeah. You know, and um, then I posted a pic of. Um, they, like probably, the, like, they probably prejudged and were like, oh, it's one of those. Yeah. Parties. Yeah. And like, oh, I, can't, I can't come. Yeah. <laughs> and then they're like, can I still come? <laughs> they're like, never mind. Oh, I suddenly am free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So and fun. so then I like posted, so like, I, I downloaded these little, um, you know, I'm sure you guys have seen them. Um, the little envelope, the gift envelope, and you stick the nail set in there. Yeah. And I put my card up here and I said, you know, um, Wait, bring your shopping card. list. Hold those huh? up. Hold those up so we can see them a little better. Can you see it? And so they were $2 on Etsy. Uh, it was a mobile download. Okay. And then, so I got card stock and printed them out. And, and then you put your it. business card at top. Oh, okay. Right there. Yeah, and the um, nails fit perfectly in there, and you can use double-sided tape to put your card up because you, you know, I really feel like if anything's going to anybody else, they need the information to, you know, 
shop. And so they have like Hanukkah ones, they have like other Christmas ones. And then I got this thank you one because, you know, like how many times do you end up getting invited to a holiday party and you need like a hostess gift? These are perfect, you know, so just a thank you one is nice to have too. So yeah. I told him, I said, anybody who needs, I'll be bringing these to the party, anybody that needs them for gifts, you know, they're yours to take. And I said, online orders, just let me know what you need and I'll get them in the mail to you. So I really did try to keep the people that um, couldn't make it involved. So, um, and then when the party started and I had applied like accent nails to some of the girls, they were posting pictures in that group text. Oh my and God. Then, I love that. Yeah. And then, so then there was this one girl texted. She's like, are you guys still there? Can I come? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Come on. She's like, can I bring my daughter? And I'm like, oh my okay, God. Bring her like, over, you they're know? having FOMO because they're missing out. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Oh so she brought her daughter over and, you know, that's always good when you have the kids there because, you know, they, you know, they got their teachers. Yeah, all that stuff. So, um, that's genius. Yeah. So they came and, um, then the next day I was able to thank everybody, uh, for coming. And I thanked Kim for hosting and, um, the text group. yeah. And I posted, uh, who won the raffles. And it was just a great way for me to follow up. And then people were like, oh my gosh, I was in the sun and my uh, Singapore chic was so pretty. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You know? So it just kept going. So then the people were like raving about the samples they got or the set of nails that they bought from me that were on their nails already. And they were like, oh my gosh, you know, and then they're like, which color is that? You know, and then it's so it's still going on this, this conversation in this group text, you know, because everybody's putting their nails on and yes. you know, getting ready for the holiday and they're like showing them off. And it's, it was so fun. And, um, you know, so I feel like, you know, don't count out those people that can't make it to an in-person party because I got five orders from people that were not going to, there were no's, like not maybes, they were no's. And so that's five people I was able to get information on because they bought online. So I have their contact information now. That's five more people that are showing their nails off and telling people what Color Street is and where they got them. And we really had a lot of fun, you know? And so um, because I think it was so fun, it, it's a good way to say, you know, if somebody were to ask and say, you could say Facebook parties are similar, you know, like if somebody was interested in doing that from this group text, you know, you could say it's similar to that where everything's done, you know, through, you know, like your computer or your phone, whatever. Yeah. Or you say, Hey, or we can just do a text party. <laughs> yeah. Cause yeah, because I feel like a lot of those obstacles just really kind of, you know, that you hear about with adding the groups or should you do an event or um, all that stuff kind of just disappeared and we were able to have fun and I was able to get that information to the girls. So I wasn't, that time that would have been allotted for me explaining the product was already taken care of. So we were just having fun. We were getting to know each other. We were getting to ask personal questions. We were talking about the kids, you know, stuff like that. And I you know, like all that other stuff that you had talked about in your BQ training, it was a lot easier to do. And it benefited the in-person party because I wasn't just talking about color street. Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh. And, um, and I think women feed off each other just naturally. I mean, in fact, yeah, this morning sure. I got to a message thread of all my executives and because they were all freaking out about the Kate Spade sale and they're like, Oh my gosh, should I get, should I get maroon or should I get mm -hmm. neutral, like neutral and blah, blah. and they were like, it was like a giant, I was like, what happened when I went to bed? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, but, and it was so fun. And it's and, just, everyone feeds off each other and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm missing out. Do I need to buy a Kate's, you know, do I need to this Kate's Spade sale? It's like, I was part of this message. Yeah. Then. And then, um, so yeah, it's like, they do feed, feed off each other. There's the FOMO. They're yeah. not going to miss out on the, the text because everyone checks their texts. I think it's so brilliant. And I think the cool thing about this, Christine, is I love that you tied it to a party, but I don't think you necessarily have to have to even have an in-person party to do it. Right. 
a text party. For sure. For sure. And it just makes it easier. And honestly, there was probably like two people that left the group text, which was perfect because, and I, I almost said to my friend Kim to take out the people that said no, um, because I don't want to bother them. Like when I'm posting all this stuff, and I thought, you know what? No, like they'll take themselves out of the group message if they aren't interested. Yeah. And two people did. And it was perfect because then I felt even more confident posting all my stuff and not being like, Oh, somebody <laughs> not wanting to, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. Um, and everybody just had a lot of fun and, um, it, it was it really, it was, it was fun. Yeah. And I mean, I mean, there's a lot of like psychology to it because like, if I was in a, a text group, if I was just added to a text group and my friend was having a party and I was like, oh geez, like another, another one of those part, you know, another one of those mm -hmm. things. And all my friends were like freaking out about the product. I'd be like, wait, wait, what am I missing here? What, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, for sure. For brilliant. sure. And I just think, and then with exposing the product, you know, like people were like, do you think, you know, and then they were asking questions like, do you think so? Because they were, um, a lot of them knew each other and their yeah. kids might be on the same soccer team. Do you think so? this coach would like this color? And then the other one would be like, oh yeah, for sure, you know, and, and then it just like fed itself, kind of, you know what I mean? Yeah, and totally. um, they were looking online, they were texting, they were, you know, so I really didn't have to, um, do a ton you know like and then like so say if it would slow down that's when i would put like oh who needs these i'll have them at the party if you order online let me know i'll mail them out to you that right. kind of thing mm -hmm. yeah so and the other thing i like about it is it it forces you to interact because obviously you're getting all the you mm -hmm. know what I mean? it makes you stay present in that party yeah because sometimes it's easy to schedule out a party and then be like, Oh crap, I forgot I had a party or, you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> yeah, but this one, it's like, ding, your phone's dinging and you're like, okay, it keeps yeah. really present in the party too. Yeah. Uh, and then I would get the little email thing that can, you got another order. I'm like, oh, got another order. Yes. And it was so, it was fun. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, didn't you say a bunch of them join your VIP group? Yeah. So I said, um, you know, like to, and then that was another little reminder that I had was, um, you know, it, it was like, um, don't forget, join my VIP group to win a free set of nails. And um, yeah, with that, you know, and so they're like, yeah. And so they all joined and, you know, so it's been really fun. Even the ones that uh, ordered, that didn't come and ordered online, they joined too. So, it, it was really, yeah, it was so much fun. And then I think the party went better because we had so much fun on the group testing yeah. beforehand. Yeah, it created so much hype for your in-person party. Yeah, where I do feel like some people are like, oh. How much? You know, like, especially if they don't know what the product is, they're like, you know, feel obligated to go where I feel like this kind of went from obligated to excited. Yeah. You know, and, and everybody just really had fun. And I feel like, you know, they, you know, because like they got to know me and we had fun and we interacted, that they're more likely to want me to host a party or they, they're going to want to host a party and have me in their home. Yeah. You know, because yeah. we all had so much fun. Yeah. They connect. I feel like that's a really great way to build relationships. Is yeah. So, really and I just feel like getting all that information out there before the party yeah. really helped. You know, because you can put stuff like in the evite and kind of describe what everything is, but it, I don't think it had the same effect as yeah. just back and forth, friends talking back and forth on a text message to, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so I have a couple questions for you. What, yeah. what were your sales? You said you sold five, five, three, deal on three. What was, so what were your sales before the party? And then what were your sales at the party? If you don't mind sharing. 700. Boom, wait, you we were at the party. <laughs> well, so I had a lot on stock and then I had the, the orders before and I had orders after the party. So 700 total? Total. Okay, that's incredible. Yeah. What yeah. was it before the party? Like just from those online? So they were all buy three, get ones. Okay. So whatever, five, like you know. 150 or something. 
Yeah, and then I sold a lot, and then there was a bunch after because, you know, I feel like some people were like, didn't realize how much they would like it. They took the product home, they put it on, the kids liked it, the friend next door liked it, and then they right. liked it. So I got a lot of orders for gifts, like teachers' gifts, um, stuff like that. And I did, like, some of them I did end up putting, like, you know, I had to fill out that Google Doc to put the orders back in the party. <laughs> Cause it somehow it just went on, it didn't go on the party. So, but it was like total 700 and exactly. you know, it, so it was, it was, it was, it was a good party. I was not expecting that much. And especially with, you know, there was, you know, a lot of no's people are busy and, but people came back to like, can you put some of those envelopes in my mailbox? You know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you know, so. Um, That's so awesome. Uh, yeah. So a lot of people did their, shopping after i think when they got home and put them on and yeah you know, maybe you once you get a compliment you're like oh i love these things <laughs> yeah I, <laughs> you know? I love that sort of the text um group kind of builds up the high before and then you and during the party because you said people were texting pictures, yeah and after you know it yeah. sort of is this like you know before middle after that you get all these sales from versus if you just had a party right right uh, and then like i said like people were just like you know posting pictures of their nails and saying how pretty they are like the, the ones with the glitter in the sign and you know so then that too like i did get another order like a few days after from a girl that was out of town and just i think from you know because we do forget you know, and, you know, especially this time of year when we're being the holidays and we're, you know, planning stuff and we're getting pulled in a hundred different directions. And she's like, I forgot, you know, what's, you know, I'm, it, can I still order? I'm like, yep. You know, and then she put in a big order for teachers, coaches, whatever. Right. So, yeah. 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 So it, just having that texting afterwards yes. reminded some of the people, oh yeah, I need right. to do that. You Is know? it getting you keep getting, <laughs> so it's total, a total reminder. Um, okay. A couple people have questions for you. Yeah. They said, uh, what, okay. Did you post a color street video or was it one of you applying the nails? Which video did you, sh did you share in the text group? It was one that, um, I found on YouTube. <laughs> nice. So you just, am I allowed to do that? <laughs> oh yeah. You just posted a YouTube link. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like And that. so, yeah, it was like one of those, but I probably need, do need to do one of my own. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I, yeah, they, they I have a, and they're like, what? You know? Yeah. Yeah. So if you guys need a video to use, I have one on my YouTube um, of me applying nails. So if anyone needs that. Okay. Kim asks, what were the things you posted when you introduced yourself? Um, I, I was it, said, I didn't use it my one. One big message or was it, you know, a few different messages? I spread it out. I didn't want to overwhelm them. And then people that I didn't want their phones to be like, ding, 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 ding. So I kind of spread it out, you know, and, um, and then it was easy because when people would get, start asking questions and then I, you know, it wasn't me bugging everybody, you know what I mean? So I introduced myself, um, I put up the graphic of, you know, that one that says, you know, 100% nail polish comes off with nail polish remover, you know, like one of those graphics that yeah kind of has the basics of what it is. Uh -huh. And um, I put the prices because I think people don't realize how affordable they are. And then with the buy three, get one, you know, so it was one graphic with the, pr the uh, price list. And the buy three, get one, buy one, get one for the French. So that was just one. Because then, you know, people just sometimes might assume that they're expensive or whatever, but then they see the prices and then they're like, huh, you know. And then when you put the video in, it's like it locks it up, you know. Yeah. Because then they see how easy it is. Yeah, I, I love this idea. Like, I think this would be so effective because Facebook algorithms are annoying and mm -hmm. Facebook, and sometimes, you know, you'll add someone to a group, but they have to accept it and they don't even see half the posts. And it's like, if you do a text, right. 
They're going to see it. They're going to love it. They're going to buy it. Um, all right. I think those are all the questions. Is there anything else you wanted to share uh, for, like, is there anything you will do differently the next time you do um, a text? Yeah. Call? Yeah. I did kind of like think about that. So I think too, next time, um, because you know, the hostess was a little stressed. She was like, Oh my gosh, I invited all these people. Like half of them aren't coming. Like, and you know, like, I think when you invite people, you always have that anxiety, you know, like, Who's, is nobody going to come, yeah, yeah. you know, and I almost, but then I had like a little bit of a family emergency. So I, I didn't, but I was going to, um, ask her if it was okay. If I did another free set of nails, if you brought somebody to the party that wasn't invited, but then some came up and I couldn't, and then it was too close to the party. And I thought, Oh, I'll just let it go and try that next time. But yeah, I was going to be in there like, you get another entry into it. So this would be a totally separate than the VIP nails. It would be another set of nails. And um, I was going to, you know, just say, uh, get an entry for a free set of nails if you bring somebody that wasn't invited, you know. And I had talked to Kim about that after, and she's like, oh, yeah, I totally, that would have been fine. So, I mean, obviously you want to ask your host, but um, – Oh, that yeah. would have been yeah. one thing. Then your yeah. attendance, your attendance would double. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, if people, you know, because it is busy over the holidays, and with the kids being out of school, you know, I think some didn't come because of their kids. Um, the one girl that ended up coming brought her little girl, and I say, uh, bring the kids, bring the little girls, because you know how kids are when they're like, ma. I want those nails, mom. Right. You know, and they're just, they, they're relentless, you know, and so. And I think women are more likely to spend money on their kids than themselves. Yeah. So yeah. it's and great. Bring, bring, your I went, bring your kids. Yeah. <laughs> and she went, she was like, I can't wait. So it was this little girl, she was the cutest thing. I did her nail, her whole, all of her nails with, you know, a sample. And so she was like, I'm so excited. I'm singing in the choir concert tomorrow. And I guess they had like uh -huh. hand motions. So she was going to be on, it was of course a glitter one. And she was uh -huh. excited because her nails. So then she's going to be showing all her little friends at choir and at school. And yeah. that opens up a whole new world with kids, kids parties, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so tell, bring your kids. Bring the, how, tell them to bring their friends. <laughs> right. I like that. I like that a lot. That's brilliant. Yeah. Okay. Well, this was so good. I'm so excited to try this out. And I think everyone else is because it's just a totally different way to host a party. And I think it would be really yeah. effective. So yeah. Yeah. And even but, with the in-home ones, it just adds to it. I feel like and it, it, pump, it pumps everybody up for the party. They're like, Oh, there's going to be free stuff. We can win. And who doesn't love free stuff? Like, honestly, like my motto is literally buy three. If it's free, get three. <laughs> right. I know. I, I used to always say, if it's free, it's for me. I'll take three. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I'm all about that and yeah. everyone else is. So this is great. Thank you so much, Christine, for sharing this. And thank you for asking me. Yeah, we're all going to try it now. So good, hope good. you guys have a great Thanksgiving. Thanks for hopping on and we'll see you next time. Bye. All right. Bye. Thanks.